Hello, Tom Oliver here, and this is my speed run for the Lone Ranger for NES. This is not one of the most well-known titles for this system, but actually it's one of the better ones. I call it one of the lost classics because of all the different gameplay elements that they're put together into this one game. It's one of the few games to incorporate both normal gameplay along with Zapper gameplay. And you also have a small amount of puzzle solving to do. There are eight scenes or areas in this game. This first one involves the Lone Ranger being separated from his horse. <laughs> Not exactly sure how he let this happen, but that's the beginning of the game, so we're going to go looking for him. So, you actually have to ask some townspeople where your horse is before it appears. As it turns out, he somehow got across the bridge. You can barely see it at the bottom of the map there, but... I have to go visit the guy that runs the bridge to see if he'll let him... If he will let the Lauren Razor get through. Of course, most people wearing masks aren't necessarily trustworthy to the townspeople, so you have to do a little bit of work first. So do we go to this other generic looking town that's actually considered Dodge City, and there's the sheriff's office. And of course, this being a game, the sheriff isn't just going to give you a letter, he's going to put you to work for something else. So while he sits behind his desk and upholds the law there, you get to do all the work. Here we have your first combat scene. Fighting is optional, of course. However, every enemy you shoot gives you money, and you're going to need money to buy bullets. So, we're going to have to shoot a few people. It's just that it's most efficient to only shoot who you have to. You get plenty of bullets as it is. One interesting feature of the shooting in this game, you actually have a six-gun, just like in the real Old West. In the lower right corner is your revolving number of shots remaining. When it runs out, you have to fire just a reload. So there I ran out of bullets and I intentionally ran out because I switched to silver bullets which are twice as powerful for this boss battle. Piece of cake. And once you've wiped out the enemies in the hideout, miraculously all the enemies are removed from the map. So, back to Dodge City to visit the Sheriff. And we now have our letter. And that's it for the first area. You have to watch the uh, ending messages. No way of getting around that. 